I want to I want to come to Angel Reese first because even though she was the seventh pick, I think she has a lot of name recognition both with fans who follow college basketball and people who might be more casual fans of women's hoops and basketball in general. And you were able to get a, a lot of good info from her, both on what makes her the type of player in person that she is, and also about her skill set. So, well, um, just going to the skill set first. What was what was some of the things that she said about about that? Has that translated from high school to college and then now? Yeah, I think a lot of the attention that Angel gets, and rightfully so, is really coming from the versatility that she has and the anchor ship that she showed on the defensive side of the floor, especially in her last two seasons uh, of her collegiate career at LSU. I think. And I think that's not wrong for people to look at her as a defensive-minded player. I think that's the strong side of the floor for her. And she says so herself that a lot of the times when uh, things are not going her way on offense, she knows that by way of her chaotic defense, she can springboard her offense into transition opportunities. And you mentioned the skill part. That was something I kind of shaped the question around for her. And she went into good detail uh, providing some more context. So obviously at LSU, she played a lot of a lot of center minutes and really was the anchor of their defense and everything that Kim Moki wanted to do on that side of the ball, with her being uh, pretty much the spearhead of everything from communication to schemes and all of that stuff. What she mentioned, uh, which is why I prefaced the conversation with her with skill, was that she wanted to get back to some of her grassroots um, methods of operating. And she uh, spoke specifically to her playing a lot of wing in high school and how naturally you, if you're a wing, there's a requisite level of handle that you have to have. And she talked about her having that ability to obviously dribble, but just also be able to navigate. And with the the high volume of rebounds that she grabs, I think we'll see a handful of uh, moments where she's going to look a little bit like a legend that we're going to speak to later on in the show with how she's so easily able to, Transition from grabbing a board and playing a five on one side of the floor or playing a four on one side of the floor to when she gets the ball in her hands and she's pushing the pace, she's now looking like a point guard in a sense just because she's able to get the ball ahead and advance passes or potentially just put pressure on the defense herself by crossing the half-court line and getting an early offense pay touch. So I think those are going to be things that kind of stand out with her that people aren't necessarily accustomed to seeing from her. 